Looking to reduce your troubleshooting time? You've come to the right place. Stay tuned for troubleshooting with parameters for the PowerFlex 520 series. Not knowing why a drive is down can be costly. Many are familiar with the fault codes that appear on the hem of the 520 series when a fault occurs, but few are aware of the useful information that can be gained from exploring the drive's display and diagnostic parameters. Being aware of these parameters will ease any troubleshooting activity and help get things running as fast as possible. The basic display folder is the go-to folder for any user wanting to know what is going on inside their VFD. Let's run down some of the most useful parameters. Parameter B6 will provide you with the current drive status. The series of ones and zeros correspond to what the drive is currently doing. Mismatches between what is displayed and what is actually happening can provide clues as to what may be wrong. Skipping ahead, parameters B12 will indicate both the frequency command and start source for the drive. Starting from the left, the first digit of parameter B12 indicates the control source such as the keypad or Ethernet connection. The next two digits indicate the frequency reference, while the fourth digit is present when the frequency source is either jog or purge. Parameters B13 and B14 will display the status of the digital inputs for the drive. Within parameter B13, moving from left to right, the first three digits correspond to terminals 1 through 3 of the drive, respectively. If a 1 is shown, that means that the terminal block is receiving a plus 24 volts DC signal. If a 0 is displayed, then the terminal is not energized. The next digit will indicate if a dynamic brake is engaged, and the last digit is always displayed as 0. For parameter B14, the first four digits from left to right indicate the status of terminals 5 through 8, respectively. The fifth digit is always displayed as zero. Remaining in the basic display folder, parameters B7, 8, and 9 will provide you with the three most recent fault codes. Within the fault and diagnostic folder, moreover, you will find the next seven fault codes for the 520 series for a total of 10 historical fault codes. Following the fault code IDs, the next set of parameters provides timestamps, frequency, output current, bus voltage, and drive status. For the PowerFlex 523, the five most recent faults have parameters for their associated data, while for the PowerFlex 525, all 10 recorded faults will have parameters for associated data. Let's take a closer look at the associated fault code parameter data. Starting with the timestamp data, we see that it's divided between hours parameters and minutes parameters. Each parameter will provide the hour timestamp and minute timestamp for the associated fault as shown. To explain timestamps further, the fault hour timestamp provides the number of hours between the drive's timer last being reset and the time of the fault. The minute stamp provides the number of minutes from the hour. By noting the hour and minute timestamps between faults, a picture of event frequency may be built. Frequency data for each fault provides the drive output frequency at the time of fault, output current, as the name implies, indicates the output current of the drive at the time of fault, and bus voltage indicates the voltage of the DC bus of the drive at the time of fault. Regarding the status parameter set, each parameter displays a five-digit code of ones and zeros that correspond to the state of the drive during the time of the associated fault. Being able to associate a fault code with a concurrent drive status greatly enhances any troubleshooting endeavor. Not only is a 520 rich resource of fault data, but associated Rockwell software makes accessing this data even easier. Connected Components Workbench Software is a free offering from Rockwell Automation and is the official configuration software for Rockwell Drives. CCW can easily display fault data and can even send such data to a CSV file for ease of processing. If a PLC is in play, the same fault code data may be accessed using Studio 5000. Many favor the 520 series for its competitive footprint and versatility. The 520 also serves as a rich source of diagnostic data when faults occur. Unplanned downtime is not on anyone's agenda. Let the 520 series information rich interface get you back up and running. Thanks for watching everyone. Check out the description for more information about parameter settings and have a good one.